let's go over how to do a panorama in Zencore. Panoramas are helpful because they let us merge together manually different fields of view in case our sample is too large for a single field of view. Here's the Zencore software. I have this printed circuit board, but it's it's just too large for any single field of view on my STEMI microscope. We go to add it to a workbench and acquisition. Come down here to interactive and add it. Great. Let's start. And I'm just going to acquire different tile images. Start right here. And now I click down because we're going to want to build down. I physically move my sample until it lines up that overlay space right there. Doesn't have to be perfect, but try your best. We acquire that tile image. Now I've picked up, you can pick another spot to go. I'm going to pick right next to it. And I need to physically move my chip until it overlays again. Again. Acquire. Now we'll go up. More so that these spaces line up right about, and yeah, we can tilt it a little bit better. You don't go with the motorized stage, this is your best option for stitching. It takes a little finesse. So I'm going to acquire that tile image. Now we've got four different pictures here, four different fields of view. I'm going to stop. They look a little bit choppy right now, but not too bad. I can process them further by adding a workbench, processing, image processing. Go into tool, scroll down, and here to stitching. Now you can create a new output by fusing the tiles. Apply it, and it cleans up some of those marks in between. So you get a nice panoramic view of your sample. Good job. Is great if your sample is too large.